Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen, featuring cooking, beauty, lifestyle and more. In this video, I'll be showing you how I make this delicious oven baked red snapper that's bust with flavor and some vegetables. If you guys are interested in seeing how I make this delicious oven baked red snapper, please stay tuned. And without any further ado, Let's get cooking! First, I am going to be using some garlic, some jimbo, habanero pepper, ginger, onions, lemon, and some turmeric for color. Then you're gonna need some vegetable oil or olive oil, black pepper, salt to taste you can use parsley or cilantro and here goes my red snapper all washed then I'm gonna use some scallions bell pepper onions lime and cucumber first I am going to blend all these ingredients you seeing here in the plate I'm gonna chop them up and add it in the blender and blend it. This is the ingredients I'm gonna use to season my fish. You have your garlic, onions, jimbo, lime, turmeric for color. So when you're blending these ingredients, please don't add water because you're gonna use this to season your fish like I said gonna add salt and black pepper and like I said a little bit of turmeric just for color and then you want to add a little bit of oil in the blender to help this blending go smoothly and this is how it looks like after everything is all blended now I am going to squeeze one lime into the blended ingredients this would add more flavor into the seasoning and it will make the fish taste really, really good. Then I'm also going to add a little bit of oil into the blended ingredients. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna make some incision on your fish. In any way you wanna make the incision, that's fine. This will help some of the seasoning to go inside the incision and give it a very great flavor. You also don't necessarily have to use red snapper. You could use any type of fish. You can use tilapia, you can use red snapper, you can use fish whitening, any fish of your, your, your um, type that you want to use, that's fine. Today, in this recipe, I am going to use red snapper. So after you already make some couple of incision on the fish, you want to rub this blended ingredients, the seasoning on the fish. If you want, you can add salt on the fish before you can also add the seasoning. And don't be afraid to um, use your hands, guys. You can use the, your hands as long as afterwards you wash your hands with soap and water. That's perfectly fine. Now I am going to chop up some onions, bell peppers, scallions. So I'm using one red onion and one white onion. And I'm also going to cut some bell peppers. I have the orange one, the yellow one, and the red one to give my baked, um, oven baked red snapper a really nice flavor because this is the vegetables that's, that, that's going to be added onto the fish. There's nothing like adding colors into your dish. And then I'm going to chop up few couple of um, scallions to give it that green color too as well the colors of the rainbow and now I'm gonna add a little bit of oil on a 
greased um, pan and now I'm gonna add all my vegetables my onions scallions bell peppers and all that then I'm gonna add some vegetable oil and then I'm gonna add a little bit of this blended um, seasoning that I blend in the blender then I'm gonna add salt and black pepper then I'm gonna mix it all well together until it's really mixed up really good you can use some ve um, olive oil if you want I don't have any so I run out and then I'm gonna sprinkle some cilantro um, with the vegetables you can use parsley if you want and now I'm gonna take the fish I'm gonna put it on top of the vegetable the vegetable is gonna be the like the bed for the fish and it's gonna be also baked and steamed along the way and then you're gonna add it in the put it in the oven for 350 for like 25 minutes and then take it out and then turn it over gently so that your fish doesn't break and then you're gonna add more seasoning on the fish and then put it in the oven for another 25 minutes at this time I add my oven up I boost it up to 450 then I'm gonna put it in the oven back again meanwhile I am going to chop some cilantro um, scallions and some cilantro which I'm gonna add on top of the fish like a little bit of salad it's almost gonna look like a salad on my fish and then I'm gonna chop up some cilantro like I said you can chop parsley if you want if you don't have some cilantro so the, the scallions and the cilantro then I'm gonna add some lime into that and then add some salt and black pepper And I'm also gonna add some oil as well into that. Like I said, if you don't have vegetable oil, I would have rather use olive oil, but I didn't have any and I didn't, I run out and I didn't wanna go out to get any. So I just use vegetable oil. Then I'm also gonna chop up my, my lime and my cucumber like so. Then I'm going to slice one tomato. This will add more vegetable into the baked fish. Almost like just creating more salad into the fish. This will fill you up. The fish and the vegetable will definitely fill you up. This is good for people who don't like to eat meat, but they like to eat fish. This is a good recipe for people who don't, like I said, eat meat, red meat or, or chicken or anything like that. Now I'm gonna add some black pepper and some salt and sprinkle a little bit of uh, vinegar. You can use white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, just a little bit, just to give your um, cucumber and tomato a little bit of flavor and then sprinkle some oil once again. Like I said, you can use extra virgin olive oil and you can also use white vinegar or the apple cider vinegar, just to give it that little bit of tangy taste to it and use salt to your own taste as well now you're gonna mix it up together like so and then you're gonna take the fish out after this step this was after 25 minutes now I am going to add the tomato and the cucumber because I want them cook I just don't want them raw I want them cook a little bit like a al dente texture not too hard not too soft just a little bit of heat to it that will make it a little softer but not too soft then I'm gonna add the cucumber on top of the tomato put it back in the oven and put it this time in the oven into the broil all the way to the broil so that we give it that nice burn color almost like grill it's baked but almost like we will grill it up and give it that nice burn color and voila that was for five minutes then you take it out and then voila your oven baked talab, um, red snapper is ready and this is how it looks like and if you are new to my channel and this is your first time you tuning in once again 
and you haven't subscribed yet hit that no subscribe button and hit that notification bell because you'll be the first to know whenever I upload a video I want to thank all my returning subscribers for watching all my videos and all my new sub subscribers for watching my videos and if you have watched this far if you have watched this video so far I want to say congratulations to you because you have just made yourself a delicious oven baked red snapper that's burst with flavor and vegetables please don't forget to share like this video and make it for your family and if you have any question leave your question down below in the description box and i will see you guys in my next video and thanks for watching bye bye i'll see you all soon thanks for watching